All right, y'all. We're finna go get a quick bite to eat. Um, I'm a little irritated. I'm a little frustrated. But y'all know me. We gonna go ahead and keep it pushing. Y'all cousin over here. Y'all pray for him. Make sure it's the right prayer. What? Pray to the right people. Pray to the right God. Please don't pray. Don't pray on me. Just pray for me. What's up? Don't mind me. So, this has been on my heart very heavy for the past couple of days. Ever since um I've been asked the question of who is your support system? And y'all i did not know how to answer the question so i kind of wanted to talk to you cousins about it right because everybody process things differently mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so um so when they asked me that once again i did not know how to answer it um because once again y'all know what it is when you the strong person when you the strong friend mm -hmm. once you the person that everybody go to sometimes people don't see about you they don't check to see how you doing mentally emotionally spiritually um you know they just hey you know i know she's good right but what if i told you sometimes i'm not and i know for 2022 has been a very a rough year for me right mm -hmm. a very rough year and i would say out of the 12 months 11 months out of uh 2022 i was in depression and at one point only for a second though suicidal um so when they asked me that question i was just like wow who is my support system, right? Who am I able to confide in without no judgment? Who can I, who has the capacity um, for me to be able to pour out what it is that I'm going through? You get what I'm saying? And be able to, um, to, to carry me for a moment. You listen to what I said, for a moment. Because y'all know I have the three, 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 three rule, right? It's either three minutes, three hours, three days, or three months um, to process whatever it is, right? Because we don't want to hold on to anything. We don't want to harbor anything in our hearts. Y'all know me, keep your hearts clean, keep your hearts pure, hands clean, and remain blameless, right? So I'm like, after what I went through, I'm not gonna lie. I I, I need some help. I need some therapy, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, who is your help system? Do do you do you have a group of people? Yes, some of us have church homes, but still can't confide in nobody, mm -hmm. right? Some of us have family members, but we can't confide in them. Mm -hmm. Some of us have friends, and friends friends are secretly in competition with you, so you feel like you can't confide in that person. And especially when you're the strong person, once again, when you're the strong person, who um who do you run to? Who do you confide into? And then we have those strong people who don't believe in therapy see i love jesus don't get me wrong i love jesus all right um i will i will drink you with holy oil praise the lord but um but at the same time i also believe in therapy and a lot of us hide behind the word of God instead of dealing with our traumas, instead of dealing with our mountains, we hide behind the word. Mm -hmm. When the word is 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 a is a form of guidance to help us navigate through um, dealing with these things and healing from these things and restoring from whatever it is that you went through or that's taunting you or that's you know coming over you. So um let's I, I really want to hear y'all thoughts like do you have a support system i want you to comment below yes or no um and do they have the capacity to um for you to be able to unpack do they have the capacity and um are they able to give you sound counsel hmm. right because anybody could give you advice but mm -hmm. is it sound advice is it sound counsel mm -hmm. is it going to benefit you or is it going to harm you the right it's right is it going to control you right mm -hmm. because you got people out here they try to project their thoughts their fears their this their this and that on people that's why i say you got you got to be careful who you go to who you confide into right because um it's hard and sometimes you know like um 
when it comes to your significant other, when it comes to your children, or whatever the case is, you can't, sometimes it's hard for people to confide because you don't want the other party perspective to change concerning your spouse, concerning your children, concerning these other things because, you know, you may have forgiven them, uh, forgiven them, but this person is struggling because of the love that they have for you. Now, now they're, you put them in a place where they're going to sin. So, once again, do they have the capacity, right? Y'all, at this point, we just finna go to Miami Subs because... I thought that was a sister. I, I thought that was somebody else. Carry on, people. Mm -hmm. So... You wanna Miami Subs? Because I believe the kitchen at Friday's closed at 11. You wanna Miami Subs? Excuse my language. This one. Um, um, I won't say what was happening to me at this particular moment because I respect you and I respect your fan base. But no, it's okay. Be, no, no, no. What I'm, I'm talking about how I'm feeling right now. Oh. It's not their business. This oh. Is, yeah, hey, y'all cool and all, but that ain't none of y'all business. So. I'm going to edit all that out, but okay. No, leave it. It's wrong. So, um, me and hubby was supposed to sit down and record, um, an update for you guys because I did promise that, especially, um, after the whole miscarry and why y'all haven't been seeing him, um, in the vlogs and why I haven't been vlogging as well. So, um, do you want to tell them, babe, or not? Nah? Oh, I can keep it real with him. Check it out. So, 2022, I caught a few charges. Turn the light on. Um, in 2022, I actually, well, let me say this. I have a, I have a loving family, a beautiful wife, two beautiful kids. I have a career. Instead of me indulging in the right stuff, I started to get back into the wrong stuff that I used to get used to do. And it led me into catching three cases, three charges. Um, or three cases, multiple charges. But um, with that being said, I was gone. Excuse me, I said 2022. I caught these cases in 2021. I went to, I was gone. I was absent for 2022 because I was incarcerated. I went to jail. Um, I did 345 days in there. 345 days, y'all. 345 days. So, I left everything on the shoulders of my wife who has showed me that she is capable strong uh, to go above and beyond when it comes down to having to uh, uh, commandeer the reins of, of being head of family. I love that I have a strong wife but understand that me as a man that God has designed me to be I'm a protector and a provider so it's time for her to relinquish the head of household and it's time for me to reestablish but yet the courts don't want that so I have to go back and finish the rest of my time so even though I have 345 days in I have another 18 months to go do so y'all just pray for the Chansey family and, and uplift us in every chance that you can thank you do you want to talk about like the dangers of wanting to escape reality because I think that's what you know kind of led you on that you know that detour I should say because we know that at the end of the day all things work together for our good you get what I'm saying so do you want to talk about the dangers of 
wanting to escape reality for a moment? Yeah, um, I can understand everybody wanting to um, escape reality. Right. Hold on one second. We got these, uh, we got, we got a lot of hair riding around. Right. <laughs> They lights on and we got no, they got it right like that now. And um, okay, but go ahead. So, the danger of escaping reality is that you might reach the euphoria of never wanting to come back to reality. That's good, you know what I'm saying? I um experienced that where I did not live. You good? Let's, I'm watching. Okay. No, you gotta let me know because I'm um, heavily illegal. Um, I didn't want to come back to reality and, it, and instead of me vocalizing that I showed it and I and in the midst of that the I'm enemy sorry. crept in the enemy crept in he set a stronghold and he fortified it you hear me mm -hmm. so it was damn near indestructible but God has a funny way of showing you how powerful he is and who has the last word and who has the last say. Right. Um, I sat there and I got addicted to a drug. Um, that a lot of people look down upon. That's a Uber card. Um, they, they... You don't have to say the drugs here. No, that's fine. Okay, okay I won't. Um, yeah. it's not crack. No, 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 no. Just say you... you it's, I'm, no, I'm just clapping. It's not crack. No, I yeah. But let's just say that this this particular drug it sent me into a rage and a euphoric state all at the same time. That was, it was very blissful. It, it felt great, and I did not want to come back. But in with me being gone and detaching myself from reality. I didn't realize I detached myself from my daughter, my son, my wife, my brother, my, my nephews, my niece, my dad, my sister. I detached myself from everybody. Like, it isolated you. Yeah, you could not, you could not get in contact with me at all. I would just literally, I look at the phone and be like, um, do whatever. Um, the type of drug it was is an, um, Anti-social drugs. A lot of the drugs out there are, are anti-social drugs. To be honest with you, it's just that there's a lot of people who use them, so that's the common denominator. Right. They damn drugs. So you gotta understand, like man. Look. But everybody has their vice, though. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their vice. Mm -hmm. um, for you, it was you know mm -hmm. that drug. For me, it's eating. Um, once upon a time, it used to be drinking, but I um, gained control over that. Fridays. I thought you said it's closed. I said the kitchen closed at 11, but we could still try it. I, was, I thought I was going to go by the bar. That's fine. I just see, like, you know, this is no longer a lot of Well, it is, but this is the other part. The other side. But, um,. You know, everybody, everybody had their vices, right? <coughs> so, um, and it's important to be real with yourself so that you'll be able to go forth or so that you're able to come out of that place, right? So I know for me that this year is the year of healing. Um, y'all heard hubby, you know, he has to, um, turn himself back in and complete what they say 18 months but i'm believing god that it will be less than that right but i'm also praying for um an encounter a life-changing encounter while he's isolated and consecrated right so but to anybody um to anybody out there that may be dealing with a family member or a friend or a spouse that may be addicted to whatever it is, whether it's food, whether it's alcohol, whether it's um, smoking, um, it doesn't matter, right? 
because once it's abused for its initial purpose, it's 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 called substance abuse, right? So, um, you know, one thing I will honestly say is that prayer has sustained me, but at the same time, like I said, prayer helps us navigate. Um, so look into diff different resources on what you can do um, to help that person get through. And I pray that if it's you that has um, any form of addiction, um, I pray that you are real uh, with yourself um, to acknowledge there's power in acknowledgement, right? Um, that you acknowledge where you are at for real, for real, so that you can come out of that place. And I want, and I want to leave this right here where it's like, um, at the end of the day, you have more control than what you think. All right. It doesn't control you. You control it. But do not allow the enemy or do not allow that that substance to make you feel like it controls you. All right. It's a mind thing. Okay. So hubby's on the phone. Sorry, y'all. He got a phone call. But um yeah, so tap into the resources. Um for those that have loved ones that are struggling, um, tap into the resources because I remember one night I was doing Uber and I was taking one guy to his meeting. And when I was taking him to his meeting, he's the one that told me that they have meetings for family members, um, for family members to heal regroup you know after dealing with somebody with an addiction so yeah thank you um so i think i might just sit by the bar yeah What's on the bar close the bar close is at 12 and it would probably be best too because we only have two servers and they're like both of them are flooded right now so okay yeah. thank you <laughs> So um, they actually have a group for that. So with that being said, hey my love, how are you? I'm good. Um, I don't even know if my husband is drinking. Um, all right, y'all. They do have groups for it, so definitely look into it. Uh, because there's power numbers and we all need each other. So let's enjoy the night with hubby. Um, quick date night. So, well, random date night. So, um, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So, um, hubby, I don't know where he's at. Y'all, that conversation gonna have to end, uh, cause, uh-uh. But hubby rededicated his life back to Christ and he's getting baptized tomorrow before he turned himself in. I'm sad. Baby, come on. It's my time. Thank you. So um, he's getting baptized tomorrow um, evening at 5.30. Um, I text his brothers. Um, our son will be there because he's in town. And everything worked out so perfectly. To God be all the glory. Um, so yeah. I'm going to tell y'all that because we're going to vlog that as well. So let's go.
we are on the way home stop to get gas um and i'm gonna shut it down y'all because we got work in the morning i got a flyer to do um edit a couple of videos edit this video and then make sure all his stuff uh for baptism is you know woot woot. and yeah so yeah see y'all when we get home What's up? you remember when you sent me this You sent me this. <laughs> See what I did with it. No, I mean, I'm gonna it. It turned into a bookmark. So now you got it forever. <laughs> <laughs>